I've had a lot of people ask me about chipping around the greens with hybrids or fairway woods. When to use them, when not to use them. Why do you even use them? Well, we're going to cover that today. Let's go. Okay, let's first take a look at the shot we're faced with here. You can see this lie. The grass here in Texas right now is starting to go dormant. Now, wherever you may be, the grass might be dormant already. And so the dormant lies are tricky to hit those wedges from. It's really easy to chunk it and get that club, that wedge caught up in the grass. You'll also notice here that I have less green to work with than I have fringe to carry. So I've got about 12 feet of fringe. The greens are still in relatively good shape, but you can see the shot that I'm faced with there. To use some kind of wedge from there would be high risk to try and land it on the green. I'm gonna use the hybrid, which is gonna be really forgiving. The sole of that hybrid is going to work through the turf so much more easily. It's very, very forgiving where that wedge is not forgiving at all. I'm going to do this slightly different today. I'm going to hit the shot. I'm going to see if I can make up and down first. Comment below, do you think I can get this thing up and down? I'm going to give it a go and then I'm going to teach you how to do it. Well, pretty good result. I would be quite happy with that. Can we make up and down? The answer is yes. Now, I made up and down. I'm going to show you guys how to do it because that was pretty easy. All right, now it's time to jump into how to do this. And whilst I have this hybrid here, I'm gonna play it a little combination of a chip, a little combination of a putt. So I'm gonna have the ball back in my stance like a chip. I'm gonna make or hold this like a regular putting grip. So even if you putt left hand low, we're going regular putting grip here. I'm gonna use a putting stroke just back and through. I'm not really catching any grass. And it takes a little bit of practice at first to get a feel for how much swing you need. But you can see just how forgiving that is. And with a little bit of practice, you'll get your distance control really tight. It's such an incredibly easy shot. I really want you guys to practice this. And if you don't have a hybrid, like I said, try it with your fairway wood. If you have a five wood, perfect. If you don't and you have a three wood, have a go with that. It's really something that's gonna change your game around the greens, in particular, if you're out playing winter golf with these dormant lies. Guys, if you like what you saw, please go ahead and hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know, is there something else that I can help you with? And subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, good golfing.